Hi, I'm Sabina from Origami, and today I'm going to show you how you can build an elegant and practical SharePoint internet homepage using SharePoint and Origami plugins. Many organizations I talk to use SharePoint for file sharing, and it makes sense that they would like to use it as an internet too. It's secure, it's already there, so what's the problem? There's a catch, and I hear this a lot, that SharePoint can lack design capabilities and features people expect to see on Employer Portal in 2025. Many users want to see pages that feel personal, make full use of the screen space and help them find what they need quickly and easily. It's hard to argue with that because good design can elevate your entire employee experience and make everything more accessible. So let's go and build one from scratch. Let's start our internet homepage by showing the most important things first in this Banner with News Plus web part. What I have here is a personalized welcome for each user, quick links to the most popular applications, and recent news all in one spot. There's nothing quite like it with out-of-the-box SharePoint. And the best part, it's incredibly easy to update. You can make your welcome text any size you want. You have hundreds of fonts to pick from, and if I want to change the background image of this banner, I can do it too. I can even adjust my image background like this, creating this floating effect for my dashboard. For the quick links, I can use built-in or my custom icons, and I can resize the links to my liking. Next. I'll add my own featured articles to show in the news carousel. You can make the carousel show either a featured image of the article or a video, and users can easily flip through them. I can also make the sidebar news automatically pull the latest posts from the site. All I need to do is flip this toggle. Simple. I think our news banner is good to go. Now, I want to maximize all the space on my homepage, so right below the banner, I'll use a four-column layout, which lets me put four separate web parts in a row, making everything look clean and easy to find. In the first column, I'll show a video with monthly staff updates from our leadership. First, let me put a heading for the section. I'll use Origami Heading web part because it's so flexible. It lets me pick any font, adjust font size, thickness, and customize the colors to my liking. And check this out. With just one click, I can save this look. That means these design settings become the default template. So if someone else, like someone from HR, adds this heading web part to their page, it will already look the way I set it up. They won't need to tinker around with colors or fonts from scratch. This is so much easier comparing to the default SharePoint text web part, where each time you add it to a new page, you have to start over. Now let's add a video message from leadership right below. I'll use Origami video web part for that. It's very easy to use. I can upload the video right here and adjust the size and shape of the video box to make sure it fits nicely on the page. This web part is similar to the default stream web part, but look at the difference. Stream adds a dark overlay you can't remove, and design options are pretty limited. Plus, the new video has to be uploaded to stream. It can't be on another platform. Next. I'm adding a calendar to show company events and holidays right on a homepage. I'm using the Origami Calendar web part because it lets users easily filter events by type, like training or holidays, without going to another page. I can even use colors to highlight different kinds of events. And the best part? I can pull in calendars from multiple SharePoint sites and Microsoft 365 groups all in one clean view. This means employees can see everything coming up at a glance, no more jumping between different SharePoint sites. Now that events are easy to find, let's make everything else also easy to find. If you've used SharePoint before, you probably feel that the search can be a bit of a mess. It can show too much, like old files, pictures, and pages you don't need. So it can be hard to find the right thing. 
To fix that, I'll use Origami Finder web part. This web part lets you take control of the search experience on your homepage. It pulls files from the SharePoint sites and folders of your choice into one clean view. So if HR policies are on the HR side and expense policies are on the finance side, I can show them all in one place without changing who's allowed to see what. A true one-stop shop for all your policies and templates. And it gets even better. If you want to tag your documents by a metadata tag, the finder can pull documents with a specific tag too. Now that we've got document search sorted, let's make it easy to find people too. Having a people search is super handy, whether you're trying to reach someone in a specific department or just want to figure out who does what at the company. SharePoint doesn't come with a searchable staff directory by default. So on my homepage, I'm using the Origami People Directory web part. It shows contact details from Active Directory or Entra ID and lets you filter contact by department, location, or even custom options you set yourself. It looks great on the page and makes it much easier to find and connect with the right people. All right, now that's done, let's move on to the fun part, adding some social features. What I like about having social features on the intranet is that they can make the intranet feel more personal and welcoming, not just a place for documents. To make your intranet feel more social, you can use the built-in conversations web part in SharePoint. It lets you give shout outs to coworkers, run polls, or start a discussion. This works especially well if your company already uses Viva Engage. On my intranet homepage, I just want something simple, like give employees a quick shout out. That's why I'll use the Origami Kudos web part. It's easy to use. You choose the person, type your message, and click post. They also get an email right away. And if you want to change what gets sent in the email message, you can update the template right in the settings. Another social feature people love on the intranets is showing employee anniversaries. SharePoint doesn't have built-in tool for that, so I'm using the Origami Anniversaries web part. It automatically shows birthdays and work anniversaries by tracking dates from Microsoft Graph or Entra. And when new employees join or depart, the list updates by itself, so I don't have to manage anything manually. All right, we're almost done making this homepage look great. One last bit I'd like to add is a place to leave feedback. This lets people share what's missing or suggest improvements, so I can easily update the page later based on user feedback. And that's it. Our SharePoint Internet homepage is ready. As you saw, with just a few smart design choices and the help of origami web parts, we turned this plain SharePoint site into modern and personalized experience. Now, whether someone needs to read news, find a coworker, or celebrate a teammate, it's all just one click away. I hope this walkthrough gave you some inspiration and practical tips for building your own intranet. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.